What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Well today we're taking a look at Milwaukee and DeWalt fake batteries. Now I'm not talking about this stuff that you see here on Amazon. This is just going to be aftermarket batteries. These guys aren't trying to fool you by you know showing you a basically looks exactly like a DeWalt or Milwaukee battery for half the price. This is just kind of stuff that's for like you know you use your tools once in a while and not heavy duty stuff and you just want a cheap replacement battery. This is not what I'm talking about here guys. This is what I'm talking about here. Now, can you spot the fake battery and the real battery in this photo? It's pretty difficult to see exactly which one it is, but the fake battery is actually going to be the one on the right here. Um, a couple things you can tell right off the bat and why it's the fake battery. See these little tabs here on the battery? They are way more glossy than they should. The real battery is going to be much more matte, as well as the label is definitely slightly different there. You can see how it photographs in the photo just a bit differently, how it's a bit more, you could say, glossy really there, where the real battery is definitely going to be a lot more matte. So, of course, guys, there are many ways to get these batteries here, and they are really, really easy to fall for. Um, Amazon and eBay are the two biggest places I'm seeing people get fake batteries from, whether they know it or not. Most people unfortunately don't know they're getting, they're getting fake batteries. Um, of course, now they're finding really, really good deals. They come in very legitimately looking packaging when you get them in. Um, it's quite hard to see. However, though, when you take them apart, like this user here on Reddit did, um, this is going to be a legitimate battery housing from Milwaukee. Notice the um, all the nice casing there. It's really, you know, all the cells are nicely enclosed. That's a genuine battery housing there. Here is going to be a fake battery housing. You can tell that all the cells are much more exposed here. This is definitely not how Milwaukee would package their batteries. So. Um, this is also a great example here of this one user on Reddit and of course in the description guys I got everyone credit for all these photos. These are not my photos guys I'm just using these as an example and doing some commentary on them to show you guys Hey, here's what a fake battery looks like here So this is kind of hard to spot right away is gonna be this is gonna be a simpler board here in the battery a little bit hard to spot but if you're doing it with another legitimate battery side by side it's a lot easier to spot that but notice how when the bat when these batteries are getting more and more taken apart it's a lot easier to see hey which is the real fake battery here and which isn't by the overall build quality of that battery like, like i mentioned guys the cells being exposed here that is not a legitimate way that milwaukee would put these batteries together so popping on a couple of quick screws here you can tell pretty fast if this battery is legitimate or not now, let's see a few other things here too. You can see the LED lights are much smaller, much cheaper made there. Milwaukee uses really nice quality LEDs in those batteries to show you the battery level, of course. When you get to the much cheaper stuff, you can definitely tell that it is a not legitimate battery very quickly there. Also, both Milwaukee and DeWalt suffer from this, the fact that they are using cheaper screws on those uh, on those fake batteries there. That's one very, very easy way to tell um, if you are getting a fake battery is compare the screws to a legitimate battery. Um, a lot of times they're not security screws, they're gonna be a lot cheaper screws. Uh, the paint can chip off a lot easier than those little screws and you're gonna see a number of differences in those screws right away. Um, also, you can definitely tell the glossier tabs there is a big, big giveaway. Check this out compared to three other batteries here that are you know, also older. Uh, but this, this uh, thick 6 amp hour battery here is a noticeable standout there. So very easy to tell, guys. Um, you can even tell in the lettering there, too. The red is a lot more red <laughs> than it should be there. So big way to tell there. Um, you can also tell in the uh, font as well, too. Uh, many of the DeWalt Milwaukee batteries, uh, especially in the labels on the bottom, you can tell very quickly that the font is somewhat different. And when I get to the DeWalt batteries, guys, I'll show you that that is actually a big, big way to tell uh, so with DeWalt batteries that there is a big difference there in the batteries. All right, so check this out, guys. And that is going to be about it for the Milwaukee batteries there. Um, lots of different ways to tell with Milwaukee batteries. Really, really quick there. So you can tell relatively easy. But yeah, they are pretty good Milwaukee fake batteries. Um, check this out. Let's go to a DeWalt battery here that is a fake. Now, this looks pretty legitimate, but right away you can kind of tell. I know it's a photo, it's a little hard to tell, but in person it's a little bit easier. DeWalt spends a lot of money making sure that the yellow in the label matches the yellow on the case. You can tell here pretty quick that that yellow on the case and the label is a bit different. That's an easy way to tell, guys, that that is not a legitimate battery from DeWalt. All right, on the back here, it's a little hard to tell here, but 
You can tell the font here is definitely not a DeWalt style font here. That's pretty easy to tell there. Also, DeWalt does do a little bit um, with their lettering. It's hard to tell in these photos here exactly, but if you help, if you had it um, in person, really close up, um, DeWalt uses a really um, unique way of writing that font on there that you can definitely tell the difference really, really quick. Even if the font's the same, the lettering, how they print it on those batteries, is significantly different and much more difficult to replicate than these fakes can really do. Um, one thing I've seen, and this is coming from DeWalt here, um, DeWalt is saying that these two logos will never appear in the same battery. You only find one or the other. So they're talking about that Recycle logo or the CE logo. You're going to find one or the other, not both on the battery. And it seems like for the most part, though, that Recycle logo up on top is usually a good indication of a fake battery there. So that's a one good indication right there. Also, DeWalt does not use all this lettering here up on the top as well. Uh, they're using you know, the 104 DeWalt, they got the DeWalt.com.patents, they usually don't put that there on top of the batteries. That's a good easy way to tell there as well. All right, you can kind of see here as we take this battery apart, um, some of the issues that start forming here. Let's see here. Uh, of course, these are Panasonic batteries. Uh, DeWalt uses mainly Samsung batteries in their Samsung cells in their batteries. So that's another easy way to tell right there that you have a fake battery pack. But again, guys, though, I mean, if you didn't know this, I mean, this is this looks like a totally legitimate battery here. It is very hard to tell. Um, of course, these batteries work. That's the thing. But they, of course, are not genuine batteries. DeWalt is not going to warranty them for you. And they claim to be 5 amp hour. Usually you're going to find these between 1 and 3 amp hour um, when you actually get to use them. So they are not legitimate in that way. And yeah, you might be paying maybe 30, 40% less than the real batteries, but you're going to be getting about 60% less charge capacity in there. So not a great thing to do uh, buying those fake batteries there. All right, so this is something I found from DeWalt, how to identify fit or counterfeit batteries. Not the best guide here. Um, I say check out a couple other YouTubers that have also done videos like this um, that are you know, taking apart these batteries and checking out a lot of the outsides. That's probably the best way to tell. Uh, but you can see with these genuine and counterfeit batteries, of course, like I mentioned before, these screws are definitely a bit different. The screws on the genuine battery are more prominent, dome-shaped, and silver in color, whereas the counterfeits have a flatter head and appear to have the black coating um, that also could wear off pretty easily. Um, also, there's a fictional part number here on the batteries that doesn't exist. That is hard to tell because that part number also does exist on the real battery, but you gotta kind of know. And of course, you can call up DeWalt directly to confirm that's a real battery or not. Um, I'm sure DeWalt and Milwaukee are probably working on something here to start combating, you know, this fake battery thing. Uh, that'd be great to see, you know, this is definitely getting a bigger and bigger issue. I'm seeing more and more comments about this, more and more posts about this, you know, going back, going, um here pretty much every single day I'm seeing this so it's pretty pretty getting to be a big issue here at this point now with a lot of these fake batteries and uh, finally here is a great example here um, check this out new batteries might be fake here now the one on the right is going to be the genuine battery one on the left is going to be your fake battery you can already tell that the um, coating here on this case is somewhat off it doesn't look like that kind of more golden kind of sunshine yellow it's a bit more like kind of a mustard yellow, you can tell. Uh, but as we get these batteries open here, let's see here. Right, right here, you can tell the fake battery on the left here. Look really closely at that seam. Dwell does a really good job of kind of flaring off their seams there and their batteries. That's an easy way to tell. Um, Dwell Milwaukee both spent a little bit extra time putting some good detail in those batteries, trying to make them as durable as possible. Whereas the fake batteries, they're going to cut corners in wherever they kind of can cut corners there. To really kind of you know make them cheaper as they possibly can here so guys you can see on the back here that these look very very similar the legitimate dewalt battery here you can see that the the uh the fake one is just printed on so you notice how bold that printing is but the fake the actual sorry the real battery here on the right side dewalt is using kind of that like dash style printing here so you can kind of you know kind of see through it a little bit there that is how you can tell a real DeWalt battery, whereas the fake batteries are just a bold print on there. And you can even tell the real battery here, notice the difference in the font style there. It's a bit more larger style font there. Definitely looks like there's a little more time spent making that font, whereas the fake battery, you can see that they kind of just, you know, typed it on there and they're good to go. So definitely a few ways to tell there. Of course, here's the screws on this one. This is the real battery on the right side. 
fake bearing left side. That is not a security screw on the fake battery. There's no little pin in the middle there. They're cutting a few corners there because they have a few cents on that battery. Whereas the real DeWalt batteries have that security screw with a little pin in the middle. So you can't just put a torque screw in there and try to unscrew it. You gotta have that special little security screw bit there to get that undone. Also, here's one easy way to check on the outside. Here is the trademark logo on the DeWalt. This is the legitimate one right here. That R is very easy to spot right there. And then here is your fake battery. There's just a little dot there. There's no actual R there. And that is gonna be your easy way to spot a fake battery there. So guys, this is not, of course, you know, talking about these batteries here. These are just aftermarket batteries. They're not trying to impersonate, you know, like a DeWalt or Milwaukee battery there. They're kind of just extra batteries you have for using like a, you know, a really light tool. Um, of course, I wouldn't believe any of the, you know, six amp hour stuff they say on the side. There's no way that's probably accurate either. Um, but again, watch out for these fake batteries, guys. eBay, Amazon is where you're going to find the most amount of those fake batteries. If you see, you know, a two-pack Milwaukee batteries on Amazon for 99 bucks and they look legitimate, you get them in, they look legitimate, I highly doubt they are legitimate batteries. Um, we're seeing this basically come up everywhere now. eBay, Amazon, um, tons of fake batteries out there, guys. So you definitely want to be safe. Yeah, these batteries can be a little dangerous at times. They're not designed to be rapid charge or anything because they're using cheaper cells, cheaper components in those. So definitely be careful out there, guys. Watch what you buy. Um, for myself, guys, I make sure to only buy from authorized retailers. Or, you know, of course, you can buy them on eBay if you pick up, you know, used batteries with a tool it's unlikely to find, you know, fake batteries. But of course, that can still definitely happen, guys. So just be careful, guys. Make sure you, you know, um, educate yourself a bit what, what fake batteries look like, how to spot them. So of course, you guys can avoid buying them yourself, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.